In this example, we're going to be looking at exponents and order of operations with fractions. The first problem, I have 3 fourths raised to the third power. My order of operations table here will tell me to work inside parentheses first. If I do that for this problem, I have 3 fourths inside and that cannot be reduced any further. So I can move to the second step, which is to look at the exponents. So 3 fourths to the third power is just 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. Now notice that I have no common factors in the numerator and denominator. So when I multiply, I'm going to have my final reduced result. But how do I multiply 3 times 3 times 3? Well, I start, I can only multiply two things at once. 3 times 3 is 9, and then I take that result times 3 to get 27. In the denominator, it's the same thing. I have 4 times 4 is 16. I take that result times 4, and I get 64, and that is my final simplified result. In part B, I have 3 fifths times 2 thirds squared. Again, I look in parentheses. I can't simplify 2 thirds any further. So the first thing I'm going to do is to square 2 thirds. Well, the way that I do that is I write 2 thirds times 2 thirds. So what happens is I end up being able to just look at this as a series of multiplications. So if I write everything out, then notice the parentheses and the exponent are gone and I could focus on the individual pieces. I have a common factor of 3 in the numerator and denominator that can be removed and what I have left is 2 times 2 is 4 over 5 times 3 is 15. That fraction is completely simplified and is my final result.